Evening lads um, and lasses. Smoking the the big Barling Brothers brandy bowl, which was kindly given to me by my internet chum John some time ago. And he also gave me more than a significant quantity of his favourite mix, which is one of my favourites too now, which is French Caparel and Belgium Samoir, and it's it's a lovely mix. It's not at all mild. It's a it's a, it's well up medium. It's not strong, but it's it's high medium. And what I like about it is it's got a nice little spiciness about it which comes from the caparel I think. Uh, as far as I know the the semoir is a type of burley that's grown in Belgium. I've never tried it on its own so it may be quite mild I'm not sure. Probably it probably is I think. And it's the caparel that really gives it the the strength it's got a well with with the burley of uh, the somewhat burley I think it's got a little bit of a cigar tang to it and that goes perfectly with the caparel because the caparels it's it's remin when I first smoked it I've said it before it's it really reminded me of the sort of coloured pink and yellow Turkish and French cigarettes that people used to smoke back in the trendy 60s, you know, time of the Beatles and that, they, they were only up the road from us about 20 miles, and um, all the in crowd, they'd have the, the coloured cigarettes, and that's the smell that came from them, it's very much like what you get off this uh, this mix, and I think it must be the, the French Caparel that comes out, which is a mix of uh, Virginia and, and dark fired Kentucky. So I believe, if I'm wrong, correct me, but I think that's what it is. And they just go so well together. Easy smoking. If it's got one floor, it's, it's ribbon cut and it does tend to burn down too quick, so. A big bowl like this handles it well. Anyway, it's been another lousy day here. It's been really bad. Absolutely blowing a hooli and the, the poor old um, hawthorns, the, the white blossoms has been getting splattered off the trees all over the place. I thought it was snowing at one stage because all the white was coming down. And it's just the blossom coming off the trees with the rain. It's not been good at all, not been fit for anything really. I was even reluctant to put my chilies in the garden back into the greenhouse, but um, it brightened up a little bit around about lunchtime. But it really is a, a wickedly horrible summer at the moment with April and May. Let's hope June's a bit, June's a bit better. But I just thought I'd mention this uh, this mix of John's again because it really is good. I've got plenty of it left because it, uh, like I say, gave me quite a significant uh, amount, which was very kind. And it's it's really got its own character. I think the spiciness of it is, I almost get um, a reminiscence of um, of Haunted Bookshop. That's That's got the same sort of spiciness. It's almost like a, a Perique undertone, but I think that's coming from the, from the Kentucky. It's good. It's woody, cigar-like. I just felt like mentioning it again. Lovely. Burns very well too.
it doesn't get hot. For a ribbon cut it's uh, surprisingly cool smoking. Anyway guys, I shall leave you to it and I hope that your weather's better than ours. Take care and thanks again for watching.